Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right here you are looking at, this is a, somewhere in the 1980s, this is a Kramer Focus 6000 body. Now, I bought this body uh, back, I believe, in 2001, I believe it was, somewhere around then. Uh, the idea of it was, when I was working on Wally in a Box's Kramer guitar, that uh, his was made out of plywood and in between some of the layers of the plywood there was some mold and stuff and the idea was this was going to replace that body if I couldn't do anything with the original I would have had to round off the edges and make this look more like his guitar his guitar body um, but it didn't come down to it I actually fixed his guitar and it worked out perfect so I'm stuck with a Kramer body over here so the idea with this is going to be able to rebuild it into another guitar. So I picked up some uh, spare parts here and there. This is the wrong bridge for it. I have to get the right, the Kramer bridge that goes with this or check into a Floyd Rose. Now, let's play a little game here. I want to show you something before I get into this and show you a few things about this. Uh, I want to show you something else. Can you tell me what you see is wrong with this video before I show you what's wrong with this video? lined up the neck, made sure everything was lined up perfectly. So I didn't have to make any adjustments to the bridge. Uh, as I mentioned, the heel pocket looks nice and tight there, but as soon as we scroll, as soon as I roll it down here, you can see quite a bit of a gap there. And uh, yeah, it, you know, at first it seems concerning, but again, when we look at the strings, the strings are lined up perfectly even on the neck for trying to. There we go. All right, so when you look at the still that I took at the end of that video, well, you can kind of see that, yeah, the strings look like they're lined up perfect, but when you hold the guitar at a certain angle, uh, yeah, they seem like they're lined up perfect. All right, so this is far from being perfect. What? What the When fuck? you have a neck pocket, which I'll show in some next photos what I'm talking about, if you have a neck pocket that's a little bit bigger than the actual heel of the neck itself, and you move that neck and mount it in a way that is pushed up against one side, lined up the neck, made sure everything was lined up perfectly. Or the other side of that neck pocket is going to throw your strings off at the bottom of the neck on the fretboard as you can see here. Now I waited for a chance to find a snapshot or a screenshot uh, of him not touching the low, the high E string, sorry, and to show actually the position of where those strings are laying on top of that fretboard. So as you can clearly see here, the high E string is closer to the edge of the fretboard than the low E string is. As anyone knows, I do have the ability to clean these up, or clean instruments up, uh, despite what some mentally unstable individuals think about my uh, ability to work on instruments and love to make videos obsessing about it. Also, when I was putting the tuners in, I had to re the holes. I actually just re them, not fully the 10 millimeter, which is good because probably a thing you don't want to do with guitar tuners is probably make the hole too big that they slop around. You won't get good connection with the wood in the neck. All right, did you notice something was missing here? Well, let me kind of zoom in on this photo. Yeah, those tuners must be in there pretty damn tight now. Those tuners have a nut on top, but no screws on the bottom. What was that, Terry? As anyone knows, I do have the ability to work on instruments. 
All right, so this may be a nice little learning curve for Terry 3Gs. You know, maybe he'll learn something from this and how the right way to do it. Although he does say that he does. As anyone knows, I do have the ability to work on instruments. But I have to say, he's very wrong in so many different levels. So anyways, Kramer body, candidates for a Kramer neck, all right? Both of them have the different but same style of a hockey stick headstock, as you can see here. One of these is a better candidate than the other. All necks are not created equal. So here is the unfinished Kramer neck. Did a nice job on it. It's got a scarf joint on it, but man, does it feel nice. And there's no sealer coat on this. So if I were to go to finish this right now, I really wouldn't have to do anything but just to finish it. I wouldn't have to sand it or nothing because there is no sealer coat on this. All right, there's your truss rod adjustment right there at the heel. But there's one thing that's wrong with this neck. This angle right here does not fit the angle of the body. I can make it fit and probably not change too much of the scale length of the guitar considering that you know your bridge is adjustable or saddles are adjustable but this doesn't quite fit it's a snug fit in the spot and it's equal on both sides as far as what i'm touching and does not move side to side or so i will not have any gap on this side or a large gap on this side meaning the strings would line up over the frets the way they're supposed to, unlike Terry 3Gs. So I'd be able to mount this up after doing a little bit of work on this heel, mount this thing up over here, and it shouldn't have any problems at all. Now, I shouldn't have to do any work on here. I'm not going to try to match this with this because it's not going to be a little bit hard to do. So I have a finished candidate here. You know, got the truss rod at the top, skunk stripe on the back, but it has the nice curve that fits perfectly in the slot. And also, there is very little play to wiggle back and forth. Now, unlike Terry 3Gs, he had a lot of play. Actually, it looked like more than a sixteenth of an inch in the photo that I showed you guys. The problem with this is, is that if you push this neck up to one side of that pocket, you are, regardless of what you think, you are going to have more fret showing on this side, on the edge of the low E string, than you would on the high E string. The high E string would be closer to the edge of the neck, all right, the edge of the fretboard. Now, this is where Terry might learn something here. If you have a problem like that, all right, you just don't butt it up against one side or the other and tighten it down. You're going to have to come up with a happy medium in order for it to look correct because you cannot correct it after it's mounted. You can't move the bridge on off to one angle because then that's going to throw everything else off. So what you need to do is you need to find shims or some type of a shim that you can stick on each side of the neck to equal out the space that the gap between the neck and the front and on um, the neck and the body, sorry. That way you can get that perfectly centered. Otherwise, it just looks like this. And that's not right. That's not perfect. I hope you learned something. I hope everyone understands what I've been saying about this guy all along. That, uh, yeah, he is a hack. <laughs> As anyone knows, I do have the ability to work on instruments.